Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I wanted to talk to you about extending the line on bar chart to have multiple lines or multiple bars. You know, often a common visualization is to display two different metrics on a card. Maybe you've got the count of something and you wanna uh, overlay that with the amount of something else. And so the line in the bar chart is a really useful tool to be able to do that. Sometimes you want to show uh, multiple amounts or multiple counts uh, on a bar, and you can do that actually really easily in the line bar chart just with um, some chart properties that are there, but you may not uh, notice initially. So I'm going to walk you through doing that. So if I wanted to add a second amount uh, to this card, uh, so right now I'm showing total incurred dollars, but maybe I want to show total paid dollars. I can go to the general properties and enter in two on this series on the left scale. It says, no, you see that hint saying the number of line series that will be on the left scale. So I could put in any number, as many as I think I need to put in there. Um, and so now it's gonna take uh, what's in the Y axis and then the first thing in the series. And so that's not what I want, but I'm gonna, now I can drag in another amount and it's important that they are the same type. So both, you know, dealing with dollars in my case here, and then I can label this and say total paid for this one. So now I've got two lines and a bar uh, here. Now I can uh, add additional bars as well if I want to. Uh, and that's just kind of already built in and that's just continuing out the series so in my case, I want to maybe show open claim counts and closed claim counts, not just the total claim count. So I can remove that and I've got um, a couple fields in here of what I want to put in there. Get my other one put in there. And so now I've got the open claim count and the closed claim count next to each other. And I'm currently using the line and the grouped bar, but in this instance, um, since I could also, I could switch to the line and the stacked bar, and if it doesn't move things around, sometimes it likes to move my fields around, so I gotta pay attention to that. Move that back over, so total of and total of paid are both lines they want. And then now I'm just gonna label these these as the open claims. So now I've got total incurred as one line, total paid as another one, my closed claim count, my open claim count, and then you can kind of just uh, imply the total claim counts by the sum of the two since they're on, stacked on top of each other. So that's pretty handy and you can just continue to add in more bars if you wanted to or change the series on the left scale to be additional if you had more lines to do. Uh, the other thing you can do is um, do some running totals in here. I'm gonna back those two things out. So maybe I've got um, my total incurred and total paid and I want to make those uh, running totals. So this number of running total lines, I can switch to two. Now these lines are running totals. And then I can bring those same fields in as bars. And it's gonna show those amounts. And I'm gonna not, I don't want stacked bar anymore. I want grouped bar. So now we're gonna show that amount. And this is helpful to label these since that you've got the same field twice, but it wants one's being used as a running total and one's being used as the annual total the way I've got my data structured. And so then we're gonna, and it loves to move that field around, you see, and I know that that is my relabeled one. Um, and I'm actually going to Let's just check, yep, okay. 
So this is going to be a learning tool. Put an RT next to that. And then this is total paid. And you'll notice it's not formatted over here. We're going to format that as currency. It's going to take the first bar really that it sees to determine the type. Um, and I just, as a good practice, format them all. Uh, it helps when you go to the hover check settings or something. You'll also notice that, um, you know, it's got this scales on the left side, these scales on the right side. It, it's doing that to just kind of balance out the visualization on here. Um, you may want to consider um, using the sync value scales option. So if we do that, we're going to have the same scale on the left and right side that can help to avoid some confusion to people, but it's going to de depend on what you're doing, what you're, if these guys are going to be too small, it's like, well, that's not uh, really relevant. Um, so give that some thought, but you definitely also want to label the axes. So uh, this would be the value line scale. So this would be the uh, running total of this side. And this one would be put or paid and curry, whatever. And so then they know. So then if we go back to not having these synced up, then people will have a better idea of, okay, the, the left side is the running total uh, amounts and the right side is the just the month, annual, annual totals. So very uh, helpful to label those. And I think these two chart properties, the run number of running total lines in the series on the left scale uh, are, are really useful in extending how you can use Domo. So I hope you found this helpful and uh, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you.